a 19th century civil defence plan for an invasion that never happened, we travelled to Portsmouth to explore the fortification of Fort Whitley. The city of Portsmouth has a long and fascinating history and is well known as a base for the Royal Navy for centuries. Indeed, during the Trafalgar 200 celebrations in 2005, I was lucky enough to have a first-hand view of the celebratory reenactments aboard the tall ship Cascalot. But Portsmouth boasts many other historic buildings and iconic landmarks. But in this episode, I head out of town to Portsdown Hill and using archive footage, we explore the fortification of Fort Whitley. Fort Whitley was built in the mid 19th century as part of a defence plan by Prime Minister Lord Henry Palmerston against a fear that the French would invade southern England. Completed in 1870 at a cost of over £93,000, Palmerston's folly, as the civil defence plan was called, was one of six forts. Whitley is surrounded by a dry moat and has a labyrinth of intriguing underground tunnels and in its heyday had accommodation for over 250 men. Fort Whitley was one of six grand forts built, but by the time they were all completed, the threat of a French invasion had passed. It was disarmed in 1907, but remained in military hands until 1939. But as well as its military history, Fort Whitley has a long reputation of alleged unexplained activity within its long, dark tunnels. I have visited this location many times since 2007 as both a guest and helping run events. And the following archive footage was filmed during a paranormal investigation with our team at Spiral Paranormal. Here we are at Fort Whitley as guests of Encounters with the Spirit Paranormal. We've been to Fort Whitley many, many, many times. We've never done an episode from here. So uh, we've got Mandy, Al and Kerry from the team here. Um, I'm going to go down in the tunnels. I have to admit, now everyone knows what a sceptic I am. This is one of the few places that actually does spook me out a little bit. It's probably, yeah, it's more psychological than anything else, but I'm very interested in getting down into the tunnels and see what's going on. We're having a little wander around, just familiarise ourselves with the place, and we're going down to the open rooms at the bottom. We're just testing the echo, aren't we? Yeah. On the loop. This is on the loop that goes parallel with the. Um, because they stored the ammunitions halfway up, so they needed a loop to get out, mm -hmm. so they could, um, in case there was a fire. Obviously. Yeah. This never place never saw active service, did it? No. This is where we This is where the ammunition is stored in there. So the the candles would be behind glass, so that obviously there was no naked flames in the actual storage area. It's a beacon of knowledge, is Al. A beacon of knowledge. It's been brings up. Down there, there would have been a couple more. Mm -hmm. They would have put the candles here, and there would have been a bit of glass, and then you would have had the ammunition behind that, so there's no naked flames. Right. See the thing on the right side? Right. Mm -hmm. Have you got that one? Yeah. We'll go down. We'll did it say 1917? They're really true. Yeah, interesting. AD 1918. The West Lower Flank Flanking Gallery. Stuff really, is it? There is no report, there's no, yeah, there's never active service. No. Um, bear in mind it's on top of a hill. I don't know what was here beforehand, but um, hills are always ancient sites and sacred sites. Yeah, it runs for miles, this, this, yeah. this hill, doesn't it? That's right. Um, the only thing that I think they said that was here originally was like when the soldiers were billeted here and they were down here and things and they had prostitutes and that down here but I don't right. know how true that is. It's a great place so you can really get lost down here. Mm. Okay. It's where they would have had guns on, see these bits here? Anyway. They would have had cannons on here. And they would have been pointing up the um, trench, so you would, if anyone come over the trench, obviously, shoot straight at them and kill them all. 
Although myself and the team are used to the dark on investigations, walking around the dark tunnels with nothing but a small torch and the infrared light on the camera does give a unique perspective when exploring old buildings. So we're outside at <coughs> Fort Twiddly. We're in the moat. Well, these forts have the same sort of structure, don't they, and the same sort of layout. Yeah, but that's... I don't think, though... This and Purbrook was built by the same person, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And then you'd have New Haven, which was another one. Mm -hmm. And then you'd have all little forks all the way yeah. up to Dover, wherever. Actually, a bit of thought we'd have actually haven't been to before, which is... Yeah. I thought I'd, I'd explored most of this place over the years. Times, and it's not like I've seen anything with my eyes, but um, there's a sense of a little boy that's maybe nine maybe eight or nine years old about that big and that's all that's it but i sort of see a fleeting Where? glimpse this is it you see i don't know it's inside in in a tunnel but not that big long dark tunnel the first one that we came yeah. down but twice it's just gone pop in my head and then gone again is it in the tunnels yeah in a tunnel but not that one that we came along to come down every time i've been here people have got children like that because it was children that done the cutting out of the stone yeah, and things like that yeah, or they carried the stone <laughs> for the people the, the guys that were cutting out the stone okay. to make the tunnels very quiet night very quiet indeed but that's the nature of the game i'm afraid that might say a chimney of some sort yeah, you might. Have, they might have sat in. No, I think they would have sat in here. Oh, okay. Because they wouldn't have been out there all the time, obviously, no. by the guns. So, so they would have sat in here, and then if something happened, they would have gone out. A cup of tea. To where they're here. And there's another room opposite. The thickness of these walls as well, look. Yeah, well, that might it's be bomb shot. Yeah. yeah. Just sort of tune in to see if you get any more. It's really hard because it is just like a fleeting glimpse. Yeah. So what? It's just like a real fleeting glimpse, like a flash, and then it's gone. And it is just like a still picture yeah. of his little face. Yeah. Little space, and then they've made it into little bits. By yeah. Adding. They've added. Uh, they've added. Gotcha. So they've made the tunnel, and then they've added this onto the end of it. Right. So everything's from the tunnels, if you see what I mean. Uh -huh. So you've got <coughs> four tunnels in different directions, and then you've got bits Bit on the end. Space. Yeah. If we have to walk around. Let me show you guys some of English's, England's heritage. Fort Widley is a fascinating location, standing proudly over the city of Portsmouth. Although it never saw activity during its operation, it still remains an important part of the city's historic landscape 